Hello everyone, hope all of you are doing great. So as some of you would know, I got early access to Karakoram's new song called Q. This song features Karakoram and Hasan Rahim. Now Hasan Rahim, I know from Piche Hut, Coke Studio season 14. I know he has done a lot of other songs as well, but that's the only song that I have been exposed to as yet. Now there has been a lot of excitement about this song and uh, there's been a lot of excitement about the music video as well. I happened to attend the live session Karakoram did last night and the director of the video Fida Moen was also there and there was a lot of talk about what was there in the video and that got me quite intrigued so I'm really looking forward to it. If I'm not mistaken this is the same song Karakoram mentioned during the interview I had with them and they did say that the kind of song it is they were pretty sure I was gonna love it and since I've got early access to this song I have a feeling I'm gonna be the first one to upload a reaction to the video or at least one of the first few. So what I'm gonna do is as soon as the song premieres and as soon as the song ends, I'm gonna schedule my video so that this reaction becomes available for everyone. So it's a 4 minute 13 second long video. So without any further delay, let's just listen to the song and watch the video and see what Karakoram has in store for us. That's Sherry, I'm pretty certain. There's a lot happening right now. i 
okay let me just take a moment to have a look at the credits as well because i never got those before so music produced by sherry kathak no sherry khatak mastered by dave kutch uh, they mentioned that he was a grammy winning artist i think they mentioned that in the live yesterday lyrics by sherry khatak hasan rahim and bilawal drums bilawal bass omer guitars zain guitars annan special thanks to zulfikar jabbar khan video production credits are for executive producer salar yusufez producer talal hashim director and dop fida moin assistant director temur khan and sayed faizan color grading by salar yusufez edited by temur khan art director ovais barni wardrobe stylist faraz sheik and team makeup pings and we also have special thanks to danish abbas shoheb akhtar hasan baloch jamshed irani i candy media line and maxbox studios okay so i have so much to say about this song let me start with the lyrics first first of all uh, you know the kind of music that i get here generally it is so always about love and romance and mujhe tumhari aankhein bahut khoobsurat lagti hain tumhare haunt is tarah ke hain main tumhe chuna chahta hu and all of that uh, the over indulgence in the idea of love and romance is something which i have which i find very tiring and it is such a breath of fresh air to actually listen to songs which go beyond this and talk about ideas and thoughts which are more prevalent in our minds but mainstream music and cinema never addresses that so that's first thing i want to say that it is so refreshing to listen to thoughts and ideas which are so relatable now i would want you to listen to the song in detail and have your own interpretations and thoughts about the lyrics as well but for me what it meant was that you know we have been stuck up with ourselves and our thoughts and our ambitions and the things that we have been convinced about that we need and we want that we have kind of kind of shut out ourselves from from the whole world around us which in turn is killing our happiness and is zombifying us if we can use that word and and is just making us more and more unhappy increasingly and we we do not essentially shed that thought and we continue to dwell in our agonies and that's what the song is essentially addressing there's this frustration of suffocation but still even after understanding it one still feels stuck up sab pa ke kya mila koi apna na raha you know uh, all of these lines really got me thinking because you know we, we live in that part of the world where most of the people aspire to move abroad and have a better life and all of that but then if you start looking at the happiness index of other countries if you start looking at the number of people who suffer from mental health issues in those first world countries it really makes you think what is on what is happening and after talking to so many people after reading so much of literature about it what i have come to understand is that in order to be happy in life you need people around you who understand you who you need people around you whom you love and they love you back and that's about it you 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 need to have a certain amount of money uh, which you need to understand is enough your greed is never going to be fulfilled you may keep earning more and more and more and you would keep wanting more all of that will never help you feel satisfied and settled only people who understand you who love you and whom you love if they they are around you that's when you actually start to sense some kind of happiness in your life and and that's what i think these lines are addressing in the song as well and then towards the end of the song there's this realization of that that this has to stop and this has to go and i need to stop all of this and i need to start reversing whatever has happened and that is expressed very interestingly in the video as well now you must have noticed there were some very peculiar kind of vocals right in the beginning of the song and the band members did mention yesterday during that live that they had that what the vocals actually were so uh, those are sherry's vocals which he played in reverse and and that's why it sounds so strange and sounds so unearthly mm, very interestingly uh, we see kind of a, a creature which which kind of re- represents the devil or the demonic ideas uh, now if you go on the internet and try to dig it out a little uh, there are quite a few people who claim that some very famous pop songs mean something completely different when they are played in reverse so uh, i'm not too sure if it's incidental or whether this song is actually playing with that idea as well 
Now coming to the video, it is stunning. Uh, first of all, an overview of the sense and the feel. It, it was Karakoram, so it had the signature sense of it. Uh, the color palettes I have kind of observed are same in most of the videos. And so that was it. It was a dark, gloomy kind of environment, which kind of echoed the whole idea and notion the song is trying to push. Splashes of brightness here and there, but then subdued and overpowered by everything else. Now coming to the video and let's uh, look at a breakdown of what uh, was being shown so in the opening shot we see sherry uh, playing in the waves and uh, well, how i interpret it is this is the creation of man this is the birth of man this is the man stepping out of the waters for the first time that's how most of the mythological ideas also address that how man was born so so i think that that's what they're talking about to begin with and then we have a close-up of the man but it's hazy so uh, things are still taking shape and all of that then there's another creature who is kind of following this man. Maybe they are trying to show that this is the devil that has always been whispering in man's ears to derail him from his path and all of that. And then we have this very stunning and artistic visual of, of, of a red blob being bombarded with this white fluid. I, I think they are addressing again the, the idea of birth and the creation of man and all of that. Then we have this uh, this close-up of a painting. Now, I'm not too sure, I'm sorry, what the painting is. So if anyone knows what this painting is, please let me know. But I can sense clouds, I can see angels and all of that. So definitely, again, there's some angelic activity happening. And it has to, I have a feeling it has to do something with the creation of man as well. This is not that famous painting, which is called Creation of Adam, but it kind of reminds me of that. And then we have shafts of light shining down. And then we have a man raising himself up and a lot of other visuals as well and that creature covering man's eyes in turn whispering something in the ear as well and derailing them the man is shown wearing tattered clothes so unhappiness and unfulfillment but still carrying on and the feeling of frustration and suffocation then man looking at his own reflection and kind of realizing something trying to touch it trying to break things and then as we move on in the song what happens further is everything catches fire everything is destroyed and nothing is good and and this whole dominance of destruction and unhappiness is portrayed very clearly very interestingly in this one shot there's this corridor there's light on the walls but it's all behind plastic i i found this particular frame very interesting for me it says that you're surrounded by so many things they're all around you they are you can see them but you can't access them they they uh they, they're there but you can't use them, you can't feel them, you can't experience them the way they are meant to be experienced. And, and that's, I think, this is the kind of suffocation and this is the kind of environment that we trap ourselves in when, when we follow that rat race and then when we follow that we want more and more and more. We fail to see the beauty of the world. It, it, it's there, but it's not for us. APJ Abdul Kalam famously mentioned that you know, uh, it's very important to do great things in life, but it's equally important to smell the flowers on the side as well. So uh, that's something which I think uh, we've so many times miss out on. And uh, it's it's generally too late when we realize that what we have missed on. Then we have Hassan Rahim's solo, which also kind of talks about the realization about one's life. And after that, the song starts to sing that we need to create a change. We need to do something to make ourselves better. And very interestingly, after that, if you notice, everything starts to go in reverse. So the way the, the hair is flowing in the air is reversed. The waves are receding. Uh, they are washing off you. They are taking things along with them. Uh, they are kind of letting you be. The smoke's kind of going back. The flames are also not rising, but they are going back and all of that. And then things supposedly are getting better. A and that kind of says that if you want to create a change, you very well can. Now, this song is definitely up to my taste. It has something that kind of wants to wake you up. And I think that's very well balanced in this song. And I like the whole visual quality of the video, how they uh, at times go very abstract, how they at times go um, hazy and blurred, and then how at times they go completely sharp. So, so it's all coming together. It's kind of a dreamscape that's being portrayed here. And I think it's come out wonderfully. So Karakoram is also supposed to come up with new songs after this within this month or probably next month. So I'm also eagerly waiting for that. And let's see what they have more in store. They were talking about this one song, which they said they sat down to make something very cheerful. And 
it turned out to be the darkest song they have ever produced yet so i'm eager to listen to that as well and how did you like this song how did you like the video how did you respond to the lyrics and the video do let me know what was your interpretation of the video i i think this was a stunning visual presentation for the song as well so let me know what your comments are and also there are two things which again i'm kind of didn't uh, fully understand one is this shot where uh, where, where uh, streaks of paint are dripping on this creature's face uh, i'm still trying to understand what we are trying to depict with this and that painting if anyone knows which painting is that uh, please do let me know